In this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the best day one defense in Madden 23, confirmed by a lot of pro players. This is where people are going to be starting um, in Madden 23, and I think this is where a lot of us should be starting. Uh, Madden 23, I think, is going to be a fairly defensive game, and I'm actually super excited about it because of how bad Madden 22 was on the defensive side of the ball. It really had nothing necessarily to do with the blitzing, maybe not even necessarily the coverages. It was primarily a major issue with escape artists and just in terms of how broken wheel routes were in this game. That being said, Madden 23 features a lot better of a defensive system. And we're just going to give you a simple defense that you can use day one. And a lot of people are going to be using this defense. Um, I think this defense, honestly, is the most simple defense that you can use day one of Madden 23. I've got a full ebook on it in my Patreon. And I'm actually going to be updating that ebook um, over the course of the next week with new concepts that I've found from the Madden 23 beta that you can implement into Madden 22 in terms of how you're going to go about preparing. Madden 23 beta, real quickly, I want you to hear me, is, um, like I said, is very much so a defensive game, and there's no weak boxing, meaning if I come out in an ace formation, two tight ends or two running backs, um, or a pro set, two running backs, it, the, the corners aren't just going to weak box, right? You're, you're not necessarily going to be great against the run, uh, but there are certainly ways to stop the run. And we teach you that in the Patreon. So again, Patreon has everything for over 30 offensive and defensive eBooks. And we're going to be showing you why I think DB fire two is, is going to absolutely dominate the Madden 22 or Madden 23 defensive side of the ball. And the reason why is because cover two is a lot better. And, and also um, the blitz is really, really good. So real simple setup. All we're going to do is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments. We're going to put, Auto alignment set to base, ball and air defense to play receiver, option defense on conservative, audibles. You want to put cover one robber press. Cover one robber press is the best man coverage in the game. You're going to then go to, I like to put cover six in here. And then from here, you can kind of tailor it to however you want. A lot of people like to go with cover four drop and cover three cloud because they're coming out in a cover two, and that kind of gives them everything at their disposal if you want to run some edge blitz concepts um, you certainly can edge blitz three edge blitz two another blitz that's really good is this max sting three um, but anyways real simple so uh, db fire two very simple day one defense if you play a compression formation show blitz and the reason why i like to say or uh, i'm sorry not show blitz but press and then what you want to do, ideally, if you can, is bring these guys down. You don't have to bring them down. Literally, all you have to do is press. And then if you want to crash your line down, you can. But literally, just stand right here. And you're going to run at the center. And what you'll see here is you're going to get incredible pressure at the quarterback. This blitz is just as effective in Madden 23 as it was in Madden 23. So, again, real simple. All we're doing is pressing, running at the center, and as you can see, we're getting disengaged a gap you will also get edge pressures as well now the best way that i know to pick this up is to just block the running back and have good pocket um, but as you can see you're going to get this pinballing you're going to get these sheds and in madden 23 the sheds are insane so when you send this blitz you're going to get pressure at the quarterback so um the other thing that i want to quickly point out that you can also do is you can show blitz now why would you show blitz well notice what it did with my guys it moved them down and outside now it's not exactly a tactic that i want to teach against compression but it is something that you need to be aware of for say a trips tight end type of set the reason why is because if i press trips tight end trips tight end should have a field day with me because you see how far how much spacing i have and this little fade on the left should be wide open, as you can see right there. It's what makes Trips tight end, I think, the, the best offense in Madden 23, in my personal opinion. But what I can do to counter this is I can show blitz. And now you'll see I have this guy in a, in a zone. I've got this guy is properly spaced over the top of him. If I want to press him, I certainly could do just that. You know, maybe I put him on a cloud flat. And then the other thing that I want to quickly point out to you is you'll see right here if i unbase a line 
Okay, you see nothing necessary, nothing, nothing crazy happens. But the other thing I want to point out is this guy could be in the middle third if I wanted to really protect the middle of the field, or I could leave him in a vert hook. And now you see I'm getting my pressure still. As you can see, it trips tight end. So this defense, in my opinion, is the best day one. It's because it's so simple to run. Um, then you know, if I don't want to send the blitz, okay, now I'm going to go to max coverage. I'm going to go to cover six. And I think cover six is one of the best coverages in the game. Uh, what I like to do against trips tight end is, in my personal opinion, um, I think what you should do with this defense if you're playing trips tight end in, in a cover six type of situation, the one thing you have to be careful about, um, you know, is something like this. And I'll show you why. You'll see with cover six it can sometimes break, as you can see. There's a simple solution to that, which I'm about to show you. If you want to play cover six against trips, Really simple. All you need to do, actually, I wouldn't even recommend playing this against trips. But if you wanted to, um, just man up that slot and then curl, curl flat that zone over there. And then what you want to do is you want to bluff blitz the DN opposite of the running back. So you see here, this is the coverage. I'm gonna blitz my user so that I get sheds. And now you see this coverage is fairly simple and fairly effective. So you can go to a coverage defense like this. Another thing that I like about this is I could go to cover three cloud, okay, show blitz. I'm gonna crap, I'm gonna shade underneath, and then I'm gonna curl flat that guy on the right or on the left there, and then I like to curl flat this guy. So now I'm in a double Mabel type of defense with a bluff blitz assignment, and this is probably one of the best coverages in Madden as well, as you can see right here. You know, real hard to you know do do much against this coverage. So these are some of the things that make Dollar Three Two Six such a good day one defense. If you want to learn how to run the full defense, how to shoot the run from any formation, how to stop the run man twenty three, some of those key things, how to send pressure when they block a running back or block a tight end, all of that stuff is available in the Patreon. So for just ten dollars, you can sign up. You'll get access to over thirty offensive and defensive ebooks including the entire dollar three two six defense and all of the updates we're getting ready to do for madden 23 thanks for watching the video if you want to get the patreon there's a link down below that you can click on that'll take you right over and get signed up for 10 bucks